मेरे नाम गजानन दास है अरे गजानन तो करेंगे आनंद गजानन करवाएंगे आनंद वाह जय हो गजानन महाराज की जय शिव प्रसाद गांजा शब्बो You press the button. You suck. अच्छा राम 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 सो आई केम टू दिस प्लेस लास्ट ईयर दिस प्लेस इज कॉल्ड वाइशिस्ट केव वाइशिस्ट गुफा व्हिच इज अ वाइशिस्ट was a yogi. This place we're walking to is the place where he lived and where he became self-realized, where he became enlightened. If you watch my India videos from last year, I come to the same place. But what I didn't realize and what a bunch of people don't realize is that behind Vaishist Gufa is a cave where Jesus was supposedly living and meditating. It's okay. Hello. Come on. Underneath this awning, behind those doors, is actually the cave. It's going to be dark soon, but I feel like I need to go in here first before looking for the Jesus cave. It's a pretty deep cave, and you can't see anything, so you have to feel along the wall so you don't trip or, you know, come against like a drop in the ground. And you just keep feeling and feeling and feeling, and eventually you see candles. And after a minute or so, your eyes start to adjust to the darkness, and you just look around, and there's people in there meditating. And it's so silent. Uh, there was only three people in there. There was a guy doing puja, which is like a, a worship. He was pouring something onto a, sh to a shivaling, I think water or milk. And then there was a little girl, maybe like, she looked like she had to have been like 10. And she was in there meditating with maybe her dad. It's really cool. This place is real powerful. You can feel the buzz of it.
All these caves feel like something. For thousands of years, people seeking enlightenment have sat in these caves. I am an echo of their realization. I can't believe we made it before the sun went down. <laughs> How cool, right? What if Jesus really did come here? So this is the Ganges River. <laughs> Whoa, big fish. The Ganga is looked at by Hindus as a mother. And they believe that taking a bath in the Ganga will wash away your sins. Sort of like the way your mom always forgives you for whatever kind of stuff you get into. I think it's a real beautiful way to view nature like that, as being your mother. Because it is like that. Nature provides us with what we need. Nature has given us all the tools we need to survive and awaken. Mother Earth, that's why we call it Mother Earth. We literally came from the womb of this planet. We're all children of this place. I hit that pen again with that baba on the way up and now I think I'm too stoned to drive my scooter all the way back. <sighs> These people drive insane here. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Daniela.